data research and most importantly big data have become focal points for conversations on the fourth industrial revolution and the future of work. As we look ahead to the World Economic Forum in Cape Town, we are joined by the managing director of Hepta Analytics, Victoria Munguti. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. You know, big data is now being considered as the new oil. Do you agree with that? Well, first of all, I would say this is not a fair statement because uh, over, uh, over a long time we have seen companies or countries that have had uh, control over the economy are the ones who have been making good use of the oil resources they have. However, in this data economy, we would say that uh, the beauty of data comes into play when you can uh, analyze this raw data and transform it to information being in a position to draw insights from it. For instance, at Hepta Analytics, my company, data is very key and focal to our business because we help our clients uh, understand the ins and outs. They can see the loopholes throughout their systems because we have an end-to-end -end kind of a transparency. So this helps in making informed decisions uh, for our clients. Right. You know, uh, so just to cut you short, I would say data is more valuable than oil. So that's why I start by saying it is an unfair statement. So I feel that data is more valuable than oil. Sure. And now there's a renewed um, appetite for, for data analytics um, on the continent. How do you think that African entrepreneurs can take advantage of this? Well, I would go to the really roots, the academic institutions. You'll find that the graduates being churned out of universities do not have the relevant skills that, uh, that, that the industry really needs. So I would say that first of all, uh, our academic institutions need to align themselves to train graduates to have these data analytics skills, not necessarily data analytics, but everything that the industry uh, needs in terms of skills. And also companies need to align themselves to be big data ready because you cannot start talking of uh, data analytics when you don't have the data. So companies that have the capacity to analyze data need also to start being, ali to, to start being aligned uh, for what the industry for all is. <coughs> yeah. You know, we are seeing more resources being allocated towards research. Um, but is enough being done? Well, I would say we have quite a journey because uh, as much as uh, we have all these uh, stakeholders and industry players having uh, uh, looking into data analytics, I, I would say uh, we have more work when it comes to allocating resources to the right uh, place and the right companies who will actually bring the ultimate goal and uh, align the comp I mean, this African country's vision to what is expected of them. Because if we are giving resources to research and development, are we really doing research geared towards big data analytics and achieving the ultimate goal out of it? Sure. Mm. You know, um a lot of times what African leadership or any leadership around the world wants to see is immediate return on their investment. Very quickly, because we have to wrap up now, uh, what's the immediate value of AI to a GDP of a country? Well, that's a very interesting question because we cannot talk about fourth industrial revolution when we don't look at the preceding first, second, and third. Uh, because of time, I will not go much into the details of those, but I would say the additional layer of intelligence that is brought about <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> by the fourth industrial revolution is very key to <coughs> the GDP of any country. When you look at countries like Germany, for example, that have uh, started using industry 4.0 uh, kind of applications, this is evident in their revenue numbers. Their revenues have shoot to billions of dollars. Right. So, so the this evidence is, key. is there. Yeah. Uh, we actually have to wrap up. Victoria, thank you so much for joining us on the show today.